Soccer. No, football. Vocabulary differences. Cookies. Biscuits. Candy. Sweets. Potato chips. Crisps. Soda. Fizzy drinks. Check. Bill. Can I get the check, please? Could I have the bill, please? Truck. Lorry. Parking lot. Car park. Gas station. Petrol station. Trunk. Boot. Sidewalk. Pavement. Grocery store. Supermarket. Cart. Trolley. We push a cart around the grocery store. We push a trolley around the supermarket. Pants. Trousers. Sneakers. Trainers. Sweater. Jumper. Pajamas. Pajamas. Bangs. Fringe. She has bangs. She has a fringe. Line. Q. Faucet. Tap. Vacation. Holiday. Pronunciation differences. Garage. Garage. He parked his car in the garage. He parked his car in the garage. Zebra. Zebra. Missile. Missile. Tomato. Tomato. Schedule. Schedule. They scheduled a meeting for tomorrow. They scheduled a meeting for tomorrow. Advertisement. Advertisement. Brochure. Brochure. Status. Status. Aluminum. Aluminium. Grammatical differences. British English tends to use the T ending, while American English tends to use the ED ending. Dreamt. Dreamed. Burnt. Burned. Learnt. Learned. In American English, on is used when talking about weekends, while in British English, at is used for time expression. We are going to a party on the weekend. We are going to a party at the weekend. Americans are more likely to use the past simple when referring to something that happened in the recent past. On the contrary, British people tend to use the present perfect tense. Did you eat lunch? I already ate. Have you had lunch? I've already eaten. In British English, people often use, shall I, to offer to do something. American English normally uses an alternative like, should I, or can I. It's hot in here. Shall I open the window? It's hot in here. Can I open the window? Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe.